here with USA Wrestling Executive Director Rich Bender at the national headquarters for USA Wrestling. Rich, wanted to ask you your thoughts uh, of, of how you felt and how the wrestling community responded and reacted when they heard the word of the IOC recommendation that wrestling uh, be taken off as a core sport for the 2020 Olympics. Well, I think anger and shock are the first two uh, thoughts that come to mind in terms of emotions that, that the wrestling community felt. I know I felt that. And certainly it was uh, something that was not a, certainly unexpected by the U.S. wrestling community, the international wrestling community, and really the sports world worldwide. If you look at the, the public outcry all over the globe from sports media not necessarily connected to wrestling, it's a, an outrageous decision and obviously one that, that we're going to fix. Now let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, uh, we have a time frame uh, through September with some IOC votes and, and activities. Uh, where this is going to be uh, uh, a, a key part of what they work on. Um, is this a battle which the wrestling community can win and, and keep itself as part of the Olympic program? Uh, this is a battle we will win. Uh, we've established a, really an all-star team of individuals that are uh, not only great business minds internationally, but uh, probably uh, we have leading the charge two of the most connected uh, individuals in, uh, in the IOC, uh, in the international uh, sports community and Bill Shear and Jim Shear leading that that committee and that charge and we're gonna turn every stone obviously there's a process that is in place for us to ultimately come to a vote uh, in September with the General Assembly of the IOC on whether or not wrestling should be a core sport but I assure you that this committee and this this effort is gonna turn every stone and if there's an opportunity to fix that decision before then we're gonna do it Let's talk a little bit about the international effort. Obviously, the United States, this is an important thing. We can name dozens of countries where wrestling is a valuable part of, of their culture. Um, what role does USA Wrestling play in this? Uh, clearly, uh, success is going to be based upon being able to work as a team internationally. Well, certainly it's not an individual country effort that's going to win this battle. And certainly, it's our responsibility within uh, USA Wrestling and the domestic wrestling communities be organized, be prepared to support the international cause at a, at a drop of a hat. And, and we've really uh, had an unbelievable uh, outcry from the U.S. wrestling community and I, I can assure you that, that the U.S. wrestling community will, will have a seat at the table when we, when we push this thing forward to the international level. But you know, more importantly, I think it's, uh, it's important and, and it's an integral part of this is the, the wrestling community all over the globe wrestlers in Russia, Iran, China, Japan, Cuba, Canada, all over the world needs, needs to rally around this cause. And, and US will, the U.S. will lead that effort. The U.S. will do everything in our power to put a, a, a consolidated uh, group together that will, will fight the battle and, and hopefully working with the International Federation who really, uh, that's, the, that's the touch point to the International Olympic Committee. That's the, the channel that we go through to the International Olympic Committee through FILA. And we're going we're gonna to require them to do their job and to put wrestling in the right light in the eyes of the International Olympic Committee. Are you uh, getting a lot of feedback that the wrestling community in the United States and the world are up for this battle? I mean, do you, do you feel that, you know, the nature of wrestling and wrestlers is going to give us uh, uh, the ability to, to pull this off? Well, certainly we're up for it, and certainly we're, we're, we're going to win, and we're going we're gonna to be on that program. But I think it's also a huge opportunity for our sport. I mean, I think we've had more attention on the sport of wrestling over the last couple of days than maybe any time in our history. And I think it's a great opportunity for us to step forward, for us to really educate the world on how important wrestling, in, how wrestling is and how significant uh, we are in the sports world. Thanks a lot, Rich. I know we're going to be doing regular updates to wrestling community on this. Uh, this is an ongoing uh, situation, and um, uh, USA Wrestling as far as the way it's approached it is, is going to be inclusive and communicative, right? I mean, is that, is that the way that you want uh, our organization and sport to act? A absolutely. It's all hands on deck. I mean, this is not a USA Wrestling uh, um, issue. This is a wrestling issue. And I think, you know, obviously, regardless of, you know, your organization, your team, uh, your state, this is all hands on deck. Obviously, everybody here at USA Wrestling, our, our national staff, this is the number one priority for them, and, and it will be until this problem is solved. Outstanding. Thanks, Rich.